Okay. Uh, a very good afternoon. Uh, the topic of my talk is electronic growth of silicide heterostructures. This is me, my group members, and here is my group leader. He, the, here you can see our collaborator from Technion and from Tel Aviv University. This is our, uh, my outline of talk, I, uh, the electronic growth, in which I will discuss some previous studies, then metal silicide, then experimental details, results, and finally the conclusion. Now, as far as electronic growth is concerned, perhaps it was first time when 1996, uh, first paper came uh, by Smith et al., which was published in Science. In fact, they made a deposition of silver metal of 1.5 nanometer thickness on gallium arsenide 110 substrate at 135K. After then, they annealed it up to room temperature, and interestingly, they found perfectly flat epitaxial single crystalline film. In addition, they made two more depositions. One is with lower thickness, and other is with higher thickness. And interesting part is that none of them have shown perfectly flat epitaxial single crystal film. So, from their coverage-dependent experiment, they have shown very nicely a 3D shape transition from three-dimensional to two-dimensional with a preferred height of 1.5 nanometer. Now, for electronic growth, we need band gap, and that's why semiconductor may be a possible solution. However, even with semiconductors, we have a major difficulty, and the difficulty is lattice mismatch and different nature of chemical bonding. Because uh, due to this difficulty, we, it is very difficult to deposit a large area flat film. However, even with this difficulty, people have tried simple metals like uh, made lead. And the interesting part uh, for the lead is it has four times higher Fermi wavelength than the, the spacing. That's why even one atomic layer uh, change in thickness can produce a very significant change in electronic states. Since then, several groups have uh, made a very detailed study on these systems, and they shown the stability of lead island depends on the thickness, and they have shown the uh, magic height by, uh, by STM-STS measurements. The, uh, it is noticeable that in all of these studies, the observed quantum states are far enough from the Fermi level, which is one of the important part of the uh, the uh, uh, important for the electronic growth, uh, growth. Now, in addition to many other, uh, many other significant studies have also been done by Audit Myler Group in past few years. Now coming on metal silicide. Metal silicide have crystalline structure, good elastic material, and that's why they are very useful in micro and nano machining. Titanium silicide and cobalt silicide are showing the field emission properties. They are even useful in microelectronic circuits. They have good processability. That's why we are interested in nano component of these silicides, like quantum well, wires, and dots. This is our multifunctional ultra high vacuum system where we did the present experiment. Its heart is variable temperature scanning tun tunneling microscopy where we can monitor the uh, uh, real-time imagining. Imagine. In addition, it has read and lead facilities where we can monitor the diffraction pattern, change in, basically change in diffraction pattern during nucleation and growth in the sample. Now, the work plan, we choose singular as well as vicinal silicon 11 substrate for this uh, experiment. We degrease, then degas, then flash and cool up to room temperature. We did read, lead, and STM measurement for getting the well-ordered 7 cos 7 patterns. After then, we deposited the film at room temperature. Then we made series of analytic treatment up to 700 centigrade under real-time imaging with STM. Once we got flat type uh, tap uh, island, we stopped cooling uh, and then we stop heating and then cool the sample up to room temperature and start the STS measurement. Here, this slide shows a uh, different morphology on the vicinal surface 
as compared on, uh, on the singular surface. You can see on Vicina, we have irregular non-faceted island, whereas on the singular compact faceted island. However, even with this morphological difference, we have preferred height in both cases, even on each annealing temperature, here, here, and here, and even here also. For more details, uh, like self-organization and magic height, please refer poster P159 by Sibley Manor today. Now, the slide shows the two representative images uh, where we did the STS measurement. You can see here very clearly the flat top irregular non-faceted island which is on vicinal surface and whereas on singular surface you can see fl flat top compact faceted cobalt silicide island. Now coming on the spectra, the slide shows two representative IV curves as well as conductance spectra. In vicinal, we have stepped IV curve, whereas on singular, we have a smooth IV curve. Since in vicinal, we have stepped IV curve, we are getting periodical conductance spectra with up to three explicit quantum value states in valence band as well as in conduction band. We marked the quantum state by downward arrows here in valence band and conduction band. The, you can see this thick continuous line is showing Fermi level position and this small dotted line is showing the midpoint of the respective delta values. As we know that in general delta values are decreasing with thickness, the similar phenomena you can see here also. The delta values decreasing from 3.93 for this 8 bilayer to 2.43 electron volt for 14 bilayer. In addition, and most importantly, all the mid position uh, uh, of the delta values, where, uh, which are marked by this small dotted line, are very near vicinity to the Fermi level, or exactly on the Fermi level. Uh, whereas, the observed quantum states are far enough from the Fermi level. This shows how strong our observed electronic states. The similar phenomena you can see in singular surface also, but here they are showing U-shaped conductance spectra as compared to the peaked conductance spectra in vicinal surface. Now, coming on the one by delta versus island height plot, this plot shows a linear relation and for this again confirms the existence of quantum state in our system. We calculated Fermi velocity using this formula, and interestingly, the observed Fermi velocity are very near to the observed Fermi velocity for the metal, simple metal cases for the, uh, which uh, other people observed in their studies. And another point is, interestingly, you can see when island heightened towards the 14 by layer, there is a very sharp reduction in delta values, which uh, confirm or uh, basically shows a transition from quantum regime to the bulk-like behavior. Now, the question is why we are, get, sorry, why we are getting uh, different, conduct, uh, different conductance spectra in vicinal and in singular. For example, here we are getting peaked spectra and here USEPT spectra. There may be the two regions. One is the morphological evolution, and another is the interface quality. Some, in, uh, interestingly, somehow we could manage to find one island which are previously on the singular, uh, singular cell state and showing the uh, spectra like Vishnu. For example, it is here. So you can see the stepped IV curve and peaked conductance spectra. In a, but since here there is no uh, safe difference, much safe difference, so immediate uh, suspect goes to the interface quality, uh, basically in uh, individual interface with substrate. I would like to mention the study by Sue et al., who already uh, noted such type of uh, dramatic individual interface with substrate, even the, on the same substrate. However, as far as our study is concerned, further studies with cross-sectional TM on the samples 
are in progress in collaboration with Professor Kaplan at Technion. Now the conclusion, the morphological evolution and electronic structure of cobalt seaside island on singular surface differ from those on the visional one. On a singular surface, the truncated island covered by astral ripening, retaining compact form and exhibited magic height and smooth ivy curves that, upon numerical differentiation, transformed into U-shaped conductance tunneling spectra. On the vicinal surface, the island collision to form quasi-continuous layer of magic height and stepwise increase of tunneling current with the bias showing their dots containing quantum states in valence and conduction bond. On both surface, the island reciprocal energy gap is scaled linearly with the island thickness conforming the formation of quantum well without, however, overlaps between quantum well states and formulable for all the island considered. And finally, the, this indicates the stabilization of the most frequent island height by electron energy and low count for those of the higher energy, evidently not only for simple metal, but technologically important silicide, for example, cobalt silicide, and perhaps for other transition metal silicide like titanium silicide, etc., can be grown two dimensionally due to electronic stabilization. I would like to thank Israel Science Foundation and Tel Aviv University Research Center for Nanoscience Technology Postdoctoral Fellowship. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Thank you, Dr. Tifati. Any questions, comments, please? If this is not the case, thank you again for this talk.